Oh, there we are. Another snook. Okay, not a big one, but a lot of fun. Uh, that is a pretty red. It says either six or seven snook. Can't remember, but yeah, nice, uh, nice snook. Hey, this is Luke Symes with Salt Strong. Today we're gonna be doing round two of the scent test. This is Cashel's fish scent. And what I have is I have two identical rods, two identical reels, the same line, same everything, same lures. The only difference is, is that one has the scent and one does not have the scent. And what I'm gonna do is every three casts, I'm gonna change and I'm exploring some new areas. I'm gonna be fishing areas I've never been to before. We got a late start, it's like 10 o'clock, but we have a pretty good tide. So hopefully we'll get some action. And, uh, and I have Otis here too. He's the ultimate equalizer. So I can't just get in a school of fish and catch a bunch of them because he's gonna spook everything uh, within at least a couple casts. Every fish I get, he makes so much noise. So anyhow, should be a lot of fun. I'll let you know the results. Again, scent versus no scent. We'll see what happens. All right, so I'm getting up close to these mangroves. And what I'm doing, I'm basically just fishing, fishing mangroves with mullet near them. That was literally all I did was I'm uh, back in, in Bull Bay and I just started uh, driving until I saw a bunch of mullet. And I particularly like points. You know, points to these mangroves like right where we are. It's so, like this cast will have a, this cast will have a very good chance of, uh, of some action. Because those snook and reds will be using those points to, uh, to ambush prey. So this is number, this is the third cast with the non-scent. Put that up. Now we'll go to the scented and continue on. And we'll just keep doing this until we uh, until we run out of time, really. <laughs> I'll see. I'll be recording. Uh, at least I'll try to be recording everything, so I get all the strikes and everything on film. Oh, there we are. Got him. All right. That was the uh, the non-scent. I knew there'd be a fish on that point. So we're off at least uh, on the board pretty quick. Little guy. Oh, something like something big just hit out there. Oh, just say, hey, watch out. All right, so little guy, we'll let him go. All right, so yeah, looking at the camera now, so that was uh, four minutes into the trip. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. We got into some, uh, some quick success. We're gonna keep doing the same, the same trend, follow the same trend. It's been working a lot lately. It's been, uh, it's been surprisingly effective. So we'll, we'll see what else happens. Like mangrove snapper there. Something just came up and popped it. Oh, there we are. Oh man. Ooh, get out of there. It's a snook, looks like another snook. A little bit bigger, not a giant, but. Ooh. So that's interesting. This is on the no scent one again. We have Otis, Otis doing his equalizer. All right, so there's a uh, snook number two. Again, not a big one, but a lot of fun. That was on the no scent as well. There's snook. That's crazy. This is the non scent one again. Well, there's a shark right there. So, another, another small snook, but fish nonetheless. Oh, just hey, be good. Small little guy. Little fella. All right, so now we're at, uh, at three to nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some more scent to this one just to make sure that it, uh, it's giving off some, uh, some scent. There we are. What we have here, this might be, well, looks like another snook. Another small little guy. And this is this is the non scented again. That is amazing. These snook just don't care. 
Hey, got it. Set. Good boy, stay. All right, another little guy. There's number four. Oh, there we are. Let's see what we have here. Oh, man. That one was off the, uh, off the trees. That was probably a redfish. That was on the, the scented one as well. Let's see if we can get in there and get him again. Or at least get one of his friends. Golly, I'm getting bumped. Something's down there popping and that was my third cast, so I might play clean up with the, the non-scented. Golly, oh man, that's a big fish. That was a nice fish. I saw that one come up. That was probably like a, at least nicer fish, I should say. Come on, please hit it. It looked like a red. There we are. <laughs> That's definitely not the fish I saw. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna move out of here. I'm gonna loop back around. See, there's a little pocket of fish right there. Then a little small snook, little fella. Hey, uh-uh. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and move spots. This has kind of died off. And uh, so far it's, yeah, six snook to, uh, to zero uh, for the non-scented, which is a surprise. So we'll, uh, we'll go to the next spot and see if the, uh, the Sydney can get on the roll and even things up. All right, spot number two. So we have a nice looking point. I'm gonna be fishing the other side of the shoreline. Nice looking point and then right around it, I saw a wading bird and uh, that just caught my interest. So I thought I'd come check it out. Never, never have fished this before. Something's messing with me. It's just a little pinfish. Oh, there we are, that's a bigger fish. Let's see if we can get him out of those trees. All right, this is first fish. First fish with the scent, it's a red, it's a solid red. Yeah, that's cool. It was right, uh, right off that point. Go ahead and anchor us down. It's a solid fish. Better go around the boat on this one. All right, that's a solid fish. Hey, sit, Otis. All right. Now that is a pretty red. Probably about 25 inch or so. Came up, yeah, pop the uh, pop the synod one. So red first redfish goes to the synod. There we are. Oh man, that was a that was a decent sized snook. That was on the synod version. Third cast of the synod version. Okay, right there. Whoa, ho -ho. Stuck it. It's a bigger one, but uh, not huge by any means. Thing hit when I was messing with the trolling motor. So this is the this is the third spot. I, I went and changed spots. The other one slowed down, and I mean within probably two minutes of fishing, snook on. So that was on the non scented as well. The snook are really hitting the non scented. It's either six or seven snook. Can't remember, but yeah, nice, uh, 
Nice snook. All right, so up to this point, the, the day was actually going really well. Uh, just looking at the GoPro footage, we were right at the hour and 20 minute mark at this point from the initial introduction till that last uh, that last snook catch. And here's where it, uh, it, it finally took a turn for the worse. I've heard about this happening before. It just never has happened to me. So on this cast, I'll slow moat for you. The, the lure flew off. So I've been using the FG knot. I love the FG knot, but if you're not careful, your lure can totally fling off there. And it was because I was casting through the guides, fishing these mangroves. A lot of times I reel up, I reel not up into the, the rod guides, which I normally don't do in open water because that poses a risk of the knot sliding off just because it gets compromised from the friction. And in this case, it just I just did it one too many times without retying or at least without checking it and, and game over. And unfortunately, that was the only lure I had. I did not bring my tackle box. So I was out trying to find, trying to get it with the net. Total look of dejection right now and eventually just had to totally end the contest. All right, well, I'm sad to report that the contest is now over. I, I just lost my, uh, my scented version. It literally just cast it off. That was the FG not fail. It's the first time this has happened to me. I've heard of this happening before and, and what causes it is, is casting the knot through guides too many times. And I guess I just did it too many times and I didn't cinch down the knot as good as I should have. So the, the lure flew off. I tried to find it in the water and it could not find it. So we'll have to end the official contest uh, here. But uh, so again, the, the, the scented version caught the only redfish, so that's a good sign. And it seemed like the snook could care less if it was scented or not. I actually caught all my snook on the non scented I think it was either six or seven snook at the time before. So my first day trying this out, I was just fishing for like an hour or so. And, uh, and that day I had three snook on the scented and two snook on the non scented So it clearly, I don't think it's bad and it might help for redfish, but we're gonna have to get out here and do it again. And I'll make sure to bring some extra lures. I didn't even bring my tackle box. This is just a short trip. And so next time I'll come better prepared and we'll do it again. But leave a question down below if you have any. And if you have used this scent for saltwater fishing, please let us know, uh, you know your thoughts on it, if you like it or if you don't like it. And uh, cause I'd love to hear your feedback. But again, so far I've caught fish with both. And it's just a matter of you know how much of a difference does it actually make. And if you're an insider member, click down below and I'll put the details on exactly where I'm fishing. I'll show on, on the Google Maps you know, exactly what the wind's doing, what the tide's doing, and, and what trend has been working so far. Every single spot that I've stopped at has held fish. And it's because that trend has been spot on. None of these spots, I've never made a single cast at any of these spots I've been to today. And uh, so again, the trend is spot on. So I'll put the details in the post-trip analysis report. But anyhow, thank you so much for your time and watching this video. See you again soon.